Now, Elon Pape is a professor of history and director of the European Centre for Palestine Studies at University of Exeter, and he joins me now live. Elon, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Let's have a look at where we are now. A lot of people tracking this story and are familiar with uh, what happens in this part of the world for many years are seeing a direction of travel. That direction of travel is now intensifying with Israeli airstrikes and, uh, and the Palestinians facing another humanitarian crisis. Is this direction of travel leading us anywhere good? No, I'm afraid it doesn't. Uh, it leads us to more destruction, uh, more dispossession and uh, uh, uprooting of, of Palestinians, a huge humanitarian uh, crisis, uh, and uh, no end uh, to the violence, I would say, even on both sides, in terms of reaching some sort of an understanding that would prevent the next cycle of violence. So I'm afraid what we see now on the ground uh, is just going to be worse, and uh, unless there will be an effective international intervention or a regional intervention, this could deteriorate even beyond the borders of uh, Israel and Gaza into the northern borders between Israel and, and Lebanon. There was a time in Israeli politics when there was quite a loud voice in favor of peace talks, in favor of various different geographical solutions to, towards Israelis and Palestinians living together. Where is that politics now and where is public opinion on that issue now? Well, I think the Israeli political system as a whole has shifted uh, fundamentally uh, to the right uh, at the beginning of this century. And uh, voices that could be defined as liberal Zionist or left Zionist uh, began to shrunk. Uh, and uh, by now, in 2023, I don't think they really exist in any meaningful way within the Israeli political system. Uh, the whole idea of compromise based on a two-state solution had been thrown out of the Israeli uh, uh, political discourse. It did not appear even as, uh, as an item in the Israeli, uh, in the last four or five electoral uh, campaigns in Israel. So I think what you have now is an Israeli society that is determined to use force and imposition by force in order to control as much of historical Palestine as they can and contain the Palestinians within areas like Area A in the West Bank and under siege in Gaza. And the Palestinians are now, at least some of them, are now rebelling against it. Uh, the imbalance of power, of course, doesn't bode well for the Palestinians. And once more, uh, if it does not, it's not going to remain an Israeli-Palestinian issue. It's too vol the area around it is too volatile for it to be contained just within the borders of Israel and Palestine. Ilan Pape, thanks very much indeed uh, for talking to us this evening.